Yeah, we've discussed several messages that I believe are very important. One of them is that we need to have an AI-ready infrastructure in place, which is currently not the case. We have fragmented IT infrastructure, outdated IT infrastructure that will not enable the implementation of AI use cases. That's on the technical level. On the education level and the workforce, we need to invest more in enabling the workforce to understand and use those technologies, which is mostly neglected at the moment. There's a lot of content uh, out here free of charge that, that we can leverage. And uh, the third aspect that I believe is really important is for the management teams to look at um, AI as a strategic project instead of only looking at it as a technology project because it's going to influence every aspect of our organizations and also of our life in, in private area as well. If you just look back three years ago, what you can do right now with the, with the existing AI tools, it would be impossible to believe just three years ago. Just look at the tools that are around, the uh, results that you ac can accomplish. You give uh, with AI everybody equal opportunities to get at the same level of understanding technology to also have the same opportunities here in the Western world. And um, I think that's something very exciting. It will really help to, to grow the business. It will help to up-level the society and will also open doors for many people that uh, would not have the potential to um, go in a certain direction, but AI will uh, open up very, very uh, many doors uh, for the futures. I think we already see where the price discussions are going. If you just look back one year ago, the subscription for certain tools unpayable five years ago. Today you can have it for very cheap. I think that's in general the case when you look at technologies. 30 years ago when you have uh, to buy a, a laptop with, uh, with a certain, certain size data storage compute compared to today, it will certainly decrease over time. That means more access for more people globally to the technology. There are many risks, we can do many things right, but there are also many uh, potential risks that we can go wrong. One of them is to have a divide in the society within the countries, but also globally you see a north-south uh, north, uh, split. Um, most of the technologies currently are coming from the northern hemisphere. There's a risk to leave people behind. And I think we have to look into that. The second risk that I see are all these AI models are trained with certain data sets, which is not um, mirroring the, the variety and uh, of um, personalities of people for certain use cases that can be very harmful. We have to look into that as well in the future. I think in general, like every technology, people tend to um, be scared, which is generally uh, normal and natural. But I see a lot of potential that society as a whole can really profit and benefit from the emerging technologies in the future. Thank you.